because I became this is drummer by 1982 and was his drummer for a period of time. Have to leave the band in 1983, 84 for some immigration reasons. I have no status in the country, and it was uh, it was not a pleasant situation for us, for Dizzy and myself, going abroad. But then when I became a U.S. citizen, he called me back in 1986. And I was his drummer until he passed in 93. I was the drummer on all the important bands he assembled during those years. Uh, his quartet, his quintet, uh, the DC Gillespie 70th anniversary big band, and the DC Gillespie All-Star big band, and also the United Nations Orchestra. So on and off, I played with him for 10 years and was his drummer until his death. Personally, he was one of my best friends. He was my friend, he was like my father. We had a very, very close relationship. So that's the way I think about him, the great human being that he was. So since uh, next year in 2017, it's gonna be DC Centennial. And he was so special in the jazz world. Um, creating the bebop movement along with Charlie Parker, Thelonious Monk, and Kenny Clark. Uh, he also was the icon of mixing Afro-Cuban music or Afro-Cuban rhythms with jazz. So uh, it seems to me that like it is a perfect time to pay tribute to him and celebrate his centennial, playing his music and doing what he liked to do that was mixing Afro-Cuban with straight ahead jazz. That is the same thing I love. Bob was to pay tribute to DZ as well as Mario Bausa, who was the pioneer of that movement, and he was who was the one responsible for DZ uh, falling in love with Afro-Cuban music and playing with Chano Pozo. So my idea was paying tribute to that particular style of music or genre, if you want to call it that way, and do something where we play this is music. To celebrate, to celebrate his centennial and do something like mixing straight ahead jazz with the Afro-Cuban rhythms. <laughs> 